Hey guys, welcome back to Program Up. And today in this episode, we're gonna review AMD and the Ryzen processors for programming. Now we have received some of the questions that certainly ask us: Can we use AMD processors and the Ryzen processor that are available right now for programming, or is there any kind of issue into it, and is there any kind of problem into it? So guys, first and foremost thing, the very short answer to this question would be yes, absolutely, you can use Ryzen processor for programming and for coding. Because the price to performance ratio, what we get into the Ryzen processor is really incredible nowadays. From the series fourth generation onwards till the fifth generation, and now even we'll be getting the sixth generation upgrade to the Ryzen processors, and these have been performing really well as compared to the price point that we pay for it. So we have an incredible price to performance ratio what we get into the Ryzen processor as compared to the Intel processors, because in Intel. For the price point, what we pay for two cores and the dual core processor into the same price point, we can actually get a quad core processor into Ryzen, and that actually enhances the overall productivity and efficiency for programming. Along with that, there have been certain issues and concerns from the people that can we use it for Android development? Yes, specifically for Android development, it's a big yes. You can definitely run Android Studio and you can do programming for Android as well into it. Emulators have been running completely fine. There has been no issues into it prior into the past. We had got certain some issues into it, but right now there isn't any kind of a big issue into like running the emulators or troubleshooting the program and anything else so specifically just for android programming also it's a really good processor and it provides you with a good performance and i specifically recommend it even for android programming along with that if you're concerned about visual studio code so visual studio code runs very smoothly there is absolutely no doubt into it like you there is no problem into running visual studio code along with that if you're looking out for machine learning or for data science so you can definitely go ahead for that because you get more number of cores and the least important thing that is required for learning machine learning and data science is the number of cores of the processor should be more so that you can actually utilize it for higher task and efficiencies so you can definitely go for it there's absolutely no issues and problems with regards to the Ryzen processors and it had been a long time question people had been asking to us like can we use the Ryzen processor laptops for programming so it's absolutely yes you can definitely use it and by the way if you've got any more specific question in regards to Ryzen processor for programming so you can definitely comment it down below we'll be happy to answer that and if you liked our video please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel meet you in the next episode till then goodbye